Hey everyone, and welcome to an episode of Living the Journey. I'm Jenna Guayad Harris. And I'm CJ Sanchez. And welcome back to a mini series for spring cleaning. We're celebrating our first full week of spring. We're really excited about it. And in our last episode, we talked about detoxing the body. That's right. And how it was really important to get clear in the mind to figure out what we need to detox or where to start. And so the lovely person guiding us in meditation today is Miss Anissa Fox. Thank you for being here, and thank you for guiding us in this meditation. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I, for me, I, I, I'm not big on meditating yet. I do on the surface. I, I real, I'm starting to realize how important it is, so I'm, I'm excited to share and get the guidance from one of our experts. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's a beautiful thing. I I do teach meditation. I do teach yoga. And one of the biggest things that I hear is, well, I don't know how to meditate. And where do I start? And I'm not good at it. Yeah. And, you know, here's just like I ask people, you know, when they say, I can't do yoga. I'm not flexible. It's like, can you breathe? <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. breathe. I'm like, then you can do yoga. Yeah, yeah, and can you breathe, Jenna? Yeah, I can breathe. Then you can meditate. Yeah, yeah, um, so it's a great way to start your day. And I do say start your day. There's a little acronym that I have. Um, and it's not my acronym, by the way, but it, there is an acronym. It's RPM. Okay. You rise, you go potty, and then you immediately meditate. Got it. And there's a science to it. And the whole idea behind it is that it keeps you from becoming distracted <laughs> with all of your other morning routines yeah. and things that can happen. And there is no set amount of time that you have to meditate. It can be five minutes. It can be three minutes. It can be 15, 20, 30. I mean, there's types of meditations that go on for hours at a time. But whatever you can give yourself, whatever gift you can give yourself is the great place to start, is a great place yeah, to start. I love that. Um, so many benefits to meditating. I mean, I, I literally, there's a list a mile long, but just some of the big ones, right? Like, because I always hear, well, is, is meditation good for anxiety? And the answer is absolutely yes. Mm -hmm. uh, tons of studies have been done on the benefits of meditation in regards to anxiety. Mm -hmm. Um, we all know about cortisol, right? Yeah, yeah. The the stress hormone, norepinephrine, epinephrine. Those are the the fight or flight hormones that usually kind of flood our body. And I'm not going to get into all of that. But when <laughs> when those when cortisol is not used, it gets stored as fat, and so it becomes a ripple effect. But right. people who meditate, meditators, have actually shown lower levels of these stress hormones in their blood. Mm -hmm. And so that is you know that's a big one. And then there is a direct relationship between our our mood and our breath sure. and our heart rate yeah. right so your breath is heavy your breath is fast your heart rate is fast there's a lot of anxiety well meditation takes that all all down boosts creativity it boosts productivity better sleep um and I think, you know, again, there are so many different types of meditation out there. And I, I joke about this, but just like there's a lot of different kinds of food, like there's Italian food, yeah. there's Mexican food, there's Chinese food, there's, you know, uh -huh. the list goes on and on. There's all kinds of meditation food. And flavor. what <laughs> exactly, it's like your flavor. And whatever works for one may not work for the other. Right. So you've got transcendental, you have positive affirmation meditation, you have guided meditation, you have breathing meditation. And so... Again, just like we talked about earlier, you know, in your detox and finding what works for you, we mm -hmm. all are bio individuals. Mm -hmm. So we are all different. We're different makeup. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're you and you're you and I'm me, but we're not the same person. Right. So what works for me may not work for you. What you like may not be what I like. So again, I, I invite you, I invite you and you and anybody that may be watching just to try on something, you yeah. know, just try it on, give it a try. There are so many apps out there um, that you don't even have to pay for. My favorite, my personal favorite is Insight Timer. Mm -hmm. And you can literally get on and you can select your meditation, whether you want meditation for sleep, which is another really popular one, Yoga Nidra, which is something that I use for both my husband and I so that we can go to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Um but again, you can choose the time, you can choose the style, you can pick what you want. 
the phone will automatically turn off whenever the meditation is done, and and it's it's so so simple. Um, I think that there is a I don't know. I just think that people become intimidated. It's like this it unknown. Yeah, it can be right because it's like this unknown world, like meditation. And you know, hard. It's, people think it's hard too. So it's it sounds scary. It sounds hard. So intimidating for sure. I think it's part of like you mentioned, and we mentioned in our last episode, um, the like detoxing. You know, you just you don't know what you don't know, but when you kind of give it a shot, and I think that's what I love about what you're you're um, what you're promoting is just try it on. You know, mm -hmm. see what works for you, and then go from there because of a. Uh, who doesn't want to be more productive and creative and sleep well and, you know, just flow through life a little a little more um, on the up and up. Mm, so absolutely. if this is a way to do that that's not costing money or take is it not in the form of taking medication, let's do it. It yeah. is free. And because we live in such a toxic world, I mean, if you walk outside and you breathe air and you, you know, you go out to a restaurant or even if you buy groceries at the grocery store, you're consuming toxins. If you yeah. put certain products on your your skin, you're, you're, you're toxic, right, mm -hmm. to a certain extent. So... For me, any place that I can find in my life where I can, I can just remove some of those toxins. I'm, I'm, I'm a yes, big time. I'm a yes. Yeah. Um, meditation has truly changed my life. Truly changed my life. Uh, I will tell you that I was one of those. It was like, no, I can't meditate. <laughs> like, I don't know how to meditate. Yeah. You know, like, where do I start? You know, do I need to buy a cushion? Do I need to lay down? Do I need to sit? And so, what I want to invite everybody to do again is just try it on. For some, it may be sitting in a chair. Mm -hmm. For some, it may be sitting on a cushion with your back against the wall. For mm -hmm. some, it may be laying in your bed. Mm -hmm. For some, it may be while you're driving your kids to, you know, their activities. It could be while you're walking down, you know, the road while you're on your evening walk. So there's so many ways that you can meditate. And what it looks like for you is what it may not look like for me and mm -hmm. vice versa. Absolutely. Um, again, just trying things on and... Mm -hmm. and the phrase just keeps coming up for me, like being a yes, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're a yes to, to change. We're a yes to detoxing. We're a yes to meditation. And, um, yeah, just making a commitment to yourself, right? Like making a commitment to you, yeah. self-love, self-care. Yes. You know, it all intertwines itself. And <laughs> We're big on that here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I'm ready to dive in. Right. Are you ready to dive in? Yes, let's do it. I love meditation. Okay. And I love your meditation. So we're just going to do a, a short one, okay. right? Just to give your audience, give your viewers, I mean, hey, you know what? Like if they want to meditate and they want to just kind of see what mm -hmm. it's like, then mm -hmm. they can jump right in and do a, a, a quick one. I think I'm going to try to aim for about five minutes. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, just uh, let yourself go. Awesome. Let yourself go. All right. All right. All right, sit up nice and tall. And for the sake of us being in our chairs, we're just going to use our chairs and our back okay. of the chairs as a um, as a rest. Okay. And again, it, you can do this sitting on the floor. You can do this laying down. You can do this up against a wall. Just whatever you choose. Okay. All right. So the point of this meditation is just to be be completely and totally at ease and surrendered. Awesome. All right. Okay. All right. Let's meditate. Awesome. Take a moment to close your eyes and steady your breath. And allow your hands to rest palms facing up on your thighs or maybe on your knees or maybe on the earth to the side of you. The intention for you right now is to be extremely, extremely comfortable, fully present, fully alive and aware. Allow your body to be the measure for what it is that you are experiencing. Feeling what you feel. Hearing what you hear. Seeing what you see. And we'll do a body scan starting at our head 
working our way all the way down into our feet, relaxing and softening every part of our being. Starting at the top of your head, allow every one of your hair follicles to soften and let go. Your forehead, your eyebrows, eyeballs, and all the supportive tissue to fully relax and surrender. Soften your jaw, your teeth, your tongue, your ears, and your entire throat and neck. Feeling what you feel, hearing what you hear, and seeing what you see. Work your way from your shoulders, tops of your shoulders, front and back, all the way down your arms into your fingertips, releasing any tension, any tightness, and any gripping. Moving into your chest and upper back. Each and every one of your ribs and all of the organs being housed in your rib cage. No effort, only ease. Let it all go. Move down into your pelvis, the mother of all movement. The front, the back, both sides. Feel an ease, a lightness, and a softening of all the tissue, of all the organs in which are housed in your pelvic region. See what you see, feel what you feel, and hear what you hear. Continue to work down through the fronts and backs of your legs, all the way down into your knees the fronts and backs of your shins down into your ankles, softening, releasing, and fully surrendering. Bring an awareness to your feet and all of your toes, the tops, the bottoms, and the tips of each one of your toes. Create surrender, create release. Bring your awareness up to your third eye center, the space between your eyebrows. And visualize a color, any color, the first color that pops into your mind's eye.
Imagine this color filling every square inch, every cell, every fiber, every muscle of your body. Healing, cleansing, and removing any toxins that may be lingering within you. Seeing what you see, hearing what you hear, and feeling what you feel. Imagine this color forming a ball around your entire being, placing a protective layer, a healing layer, around your entire body. Allow your body to be your measure, to be in the experience of what you feel, see, and hear. Now visualize this color, this ball, this protective barrier that you placed around you, slowly washing away all and any impurities within you. Leaving your body refreshed, regenerated, and renewed. Begin to deepen your breath. Slowly bring the attention back to the rise and fall of your chest and belly. Begin to wiggle your fingers gently and your toes, bringing the awareness back to the physical body. Bring your hands into heart center, palm into palm, thumb knuckles pressing into your sternum. Acknowledge yourself for the work you did, for the cleansing and detoxing that you created. And thank yourself for being willing and most importantly, for being a yes. Namaste. Namaste. I really didn't think I was going to be able to relax, relax knowing that the camera was on, yeah. but. <laughs> I'm so worried about You're, my posture all the time that I was like, uh, like I, I didn't want to just like fall forward. I melted into my chair and I forgot I was here. That's I'm so glad. I I had the same experience. Um, I just closed my eyes and let myself be with you guys, and it was so beautiful. Your energy was amazing, and truly, I, I felt the willingness and the. Just the love, and, and that's it, it. Was such a place of love, and thank you. I I really was thank worried. You. I was like, am I like just like <laughs> I didn't know what that was doing? But I what was intense, um, and I want to call it out. I literally saw that color. 
What was your color, by the way? Green. Green? I don't know if it's just whatever, but it was like not even a normal shade. That's the only closest thing I could compare it to. Like, I don't know, but it was really so evident. Cool. Like Mine was purple. Purple. Oh, wow. It was really, really weird. Like, it, it was not weird, but cool. To like, I, I, when you said that, I saw like that color. I can't even, the closest thing I can compare it to is green. I don't know. I love what it. Color was. So what we did was the visualization. So actually visualizing something happening and just one of the many modalities of, of meditation. And there are so, so many more. And I say, explore, 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 try, 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 try on, try on, try on, take it off, take it off, take it off. Just really figuring out what works for you and what feels good for you and what lands with you as mm. a bio individual. But thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. It's a really beautiful gift and I hope our viewers are, are got to do that with us and, and play this again because that was awesome. That thank was you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Nisa. And I encourage you guys to start a meditation practice so that you can start clearing your mind, connect with your body and just let everything go. Like Nisa said, there are so many different tools that you can use, resources that you can find, and we'll connect you with all of those because I, I wanna share that with you so you know where to find them. And I also encourage you to connect with Nisa if you have any questions. She's um, active on Instagram and she replies to, to her stuff. So, <laughs> so send her a message and, and she'll gladly reach back out to you. So our next episode is going to be about cleansing the home. And Nisa is going to get us started on that. She's going to help us with how to get where started to on that, where to start. And we hope that you'll join us in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Have guys.